I am back with Kay Pfizer, and in addition to learning tons of cool grooming techniques, I also learned that with poodle grooming comes great responsibility and a rather large collection of grooming supplies. You all know the drill. We're going to share all of the supplies that you need and why before we show you how. You asked and I listened. I have been filming a stockpile of more grooming episodes and they are jam-packed with so many cool tips and techniques they can be used on a plethora of breeds. So comment below with what breed you would like to see. Like and share this video with your friends and of course subscribe if you haven't. And of course ring that little bell so you don't miss one episode. So that the table wasn't overflowing, Kay started by going over all of the products that she uses for bathing a poodle. We bathe, we always clean ears, ear powder to pull out excess hair. Mm -hmm. When we bathe, we use cotton in the ears with a, an astringent. Okay. This is the delicate, as opposed to Sea Breeze, that's the cheaper brand. Right, right, right. But okay. we use that because then any water that gets in the ears will dry okay because it's an astringent okay so you won't have water sitting you shouldn't have a yeast buildup you okay. shouldn't have a problem the hemostats are for pulling ear hair as long as you know how to use them otherwise use your fingers because you can pull it with your fingers just as easy the ultra max is a whole system if you need to use clarifying and then shampoo and conditioner depending on what your dog needs coat wise if you need to strip out before you use it if there's okay. extra product grease oil that's what that's for okay mm -hmm. saving grace takes stains out. We love it for just about everything on just about any breed. The Artero Vitalize is a really easy general shampoo that we use on a regular basis. And I really like the Smart shampoos and they dilute well. They've got a few with scents that I really like, like the Apple. Oh, okay. uh, those seem to really clean the dogs well, not leave too much residue. So it's easy, whether it's a show coat or a pet coat to Okay. And you're doing the hyper... Okay, so it's hyperallergenic. Mm -hmm. Okay, very yeah. nice. Next comes the hardware. You know, the combs and brushes and such. Various combs for lifting and scissoring. A fine finishing comb. A regular comb, so after you brush, then you can comb through. We mm. use the Artero Slicker Brush. That's the harder side, softer side, although I always use this side and a pin brush for longer coat. You have to know that the trusty Dremel with a diamond tip is on the list. You have a variety of choices for clip. Everything depends on what's comfortable to your hand. And we like the wall clippers. This is a new one from Arturo that we really like. Uh, adjustable blade, adjustable blade, non-adjustable blade. This is great for feet and for toy dogs. With all of that hardware, now it's time for our software. Okay, like you know, I was just trying to be cute. For fluffing, she uses Jera spray, and for brushing out, she uses Magic Touch. And that's diluted down and used so that you don't brush a dry coat. Have you ever wondered what they use those blinged out knitting needles for? Well, they use it to split the hair to make pretty neat organized lines for banding. If your lines are not neat, you will get matting. So if brushes and combs are hardware, I'd say the shears should be called the big guns then. Yep, Kay then pulled out the big guns. Like these are Christiansen's, but they're great shears. Right. You know, I have this one, which is also Chris Christensen, that has just been, it's supposed to, you know, it's supposed to be like last forever. Right. And other than the fact that the last person to sharpen it screwed it up, it's like a really great shear. And this is, I'm going to see the SD-108. You know, depending on what the length you want, you can use either the 8-inch shears or you can go up depending on the size. So you and prefer the larger ones? Well, Only on standard thing. poodles and um, using them, I find it easier for doing big round balls, like on their bracelets. Okay. all right. Yeah, but on the rosettes, I don't use the big curves. I use something. The ones. Yeah. These little ones, yeah. okay. So yeah. you're talking like 8 to 10. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, and I used to use 10 inch shears on everything, including toy poodles. And everyone used to laugh mm -hmm. at me. And I said, that's what I was used to because that's right. all I used when I first started in poodles. Okay. And now I seldom use 10 inch shears for anything. Okay. It's just habit. It's just you habit. know, I think these are nine. Mm hmm. Okay. Between Kay and Tiffany Hillis, who I happened to share in our Jailbreak Diary episode where Billy and I went to a grooming competition, both women are complete wealths of knowledge when it comes to shears, as well as all other hardware. I'm excited to tell you that I have future episodes where Tiffany has shared all of the specifics on shears and combs, so be on the lookout for that. But until then, gather up all of your poodle supplies, because in our next episode in this poodle series, you're going to need all that stuff when we learn how to show groom a poodle.